Hi everybody, thanks for joining me on my tours of cemeteries, gravesites, memorials, and final resting places of the famous and infamous people who are gone but not forgotten. Hi everyone, I'm here today in uh, Calvary Cemetery in Los Angeles, California. It's uh, located on uh, Whittier Boulevard, and I'll leave the address down below. And there's uh, quite a number of very famous uh, people who are uh, buried here, which is why I'm here today. Unfortunately, it's a very gloomy, uh, overcast day, but um, uh, some of the uh, people I'm going to visit are uh, inside in the uh, mausoleum, so it won't matter what the, uh, the weather is out here. So anyway, um, let's go see who we can uh, find today. To find the mausoleum, I'm going to enter through the front gates, and I'm going to make the very first left, and I'm just going to go to the end of the street, which will take me right to the mausoleum. It's a very impressive structure, and it's even nicer on a more beautiful day. The person I'm most interested in seeing today is actor and comedian Lou Costello. In the late 1930s, Lou Costello and fellow actor and comedian Bud Abbott formed the comedy duo Abbott and Costello. For the next two decades, they were one of the most popular comedy teams in America. They started on radio, they also did movies and TV, and they really became famous for one of their very first skits, which was called Who's On First? And that skit is probably just as popular today as it was 80 years ago when they first created it. Bud Abbott was cremated and doesn't have a final resting place or a place to visit. But he does have a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. In fact, he has three stars, one for radio, one for TV, and one for movies, as does Lou Costello. That's how popular they were. To find Costello's crypt, at the top of the stairs, I'm going to make a right, and you'll see the corridor uh, straight ahead. But uh, then I'm going to make uh, the very first left and follow the corridor just um, a very short distance until on the right-hand side, we'll come to this gated alcove. And then on the left-hand wall, in the row closest to the gate and just uh, two rows down from the top, is the crypt of Louis Francis Cristillo, who changed his name to Lou Costello. I always find it really interesting how Catholic churches are quite often within mausoleums, and the pews are surrounded by crypts. And in this particular church, you can be sitting in a pew looking up at Lou Costello's crypt and a few other famous people as well. Depending on when you were born, I realize that some of you watching won't have a clue who some of the people that I'm visiting today actually are, even though they were very, very famous during their lifetimes, and some are still famous today. Many were famous long before I was born. But as far as I'm concerned, there really is no better place to learn about history or famous people from the past than a cemetery. And this is definitely one of the more interesting ones. Just next door to the left of Lou Costello's crypt is the Edward Doheny family alcove. Doheny was a Los Angeles oil tycoon who became the first successful person to drill for oil in the Los Angeles area. If you're a history buff, you'll also remember that in 1920, he was implicated in the famous Teapot Dome scandal on bribery charges. As a kid, I remember learning about this in our history class. The art and architecture in this particular cemetery is very impressive and worth making the trip to this mausoleum and memorial park just to view the artwork.
continuing in the same direction north, I'm going to make a right at the first corridor that I come to. I'm going to go down about uh, halfway, about halfway to the end. And on the left-hand side is where I'll find the crypt of composer Jimmy McHugh. Jimmy was one of the most popular composers from the 1920s until the 1950s. His songs have been sung by some of the most popular singers of the 20th century. Depending on your age, you'll probably uh, recognize, if you're a baby boomer anyway, or older, you'll uh, probably recognize the, the song titles, I'm in the Mood for Love, I Can't Give You Anything But Love, and On the Sunny Side of the Street. And these are just a few of the more than 500 songs that he composed during his long and successful career. Now I'm going to head back to the stairs where I first came in that led up to the cathedral. In the first corridor to the right, as soon as you come up the stairs, on the left-hand wall are the crypts of actors Lionel Barrymore and John Barrymore. Their sister, Ethel Barrymore, actress Ethel Barrymore, is also interred here in another section of this mausoleum. And John Barrymore's wife, Dolores Costello, is also buried in the grounds of the cemetery. And in another one of those weird twists of fate, or at least it seems that way, looking back on it now, I read on Lou Costello's wiki page that he took the name Costello when he was just trying to break into the business from from actress Dolores Costello. Apparently he liked the name and thought it was easier to pronounce than his own name, Cristillo. And here they are both today buried in the same cemetery. I'm guessing that after he became famous, they probably became friends and possibly even went to this church together. If anyone knows the backstory, please share in the comment section. And for those of you who don't already know, John Barrymore was actress Drew Barrymore's grandfather. And even though he has a crypt here with his name on it, apparently his body was moved to the Mount Vernon Cemetery in Philadelphia. So this crypt is apparently empty and really more of a cenotaph or memorial. On the left-hand side of the chapel, the first corridor that I'm going to come to holds the crypt of actress Irene Dunn. Dunn was one of the most popular actresses of the 1930s, 40s, and 50s, and was nominated five times for an Academy Award for Best Actress. She appeared in more than 40 movies and co-starred with many of the biggest names in Hollywood at the time. Continuing down this corridor to the next main corridor, I'm going to make a right, and then on the left-hand side, about halfway down the hallway, we'll come to the crypts of actress Mabel Norman and actor John Hodiak. Both of them died very young. Norman died at the age of 36, and Hodiak at the age of 41. Mabel Norman was one of the biggest silent film stars of all time, and she appeared in numerous silent films with Charlie Chaplin and also with uh, Fatty Arbuckle. She was also linked to two of the biggest Hollywood murder scandals of the day. She apparently wasn't involved personally, but those closest to her and those around her were. Hodiak appeared in more than 30 movies during his short career, and even starred in one of Alfred Hitchcock's films, Lifeboat. But sadly today, these two Hollywood stars have nearly been forgotten. Unfortunately, I didn't have time to visit all the famous graves that I wanted to today, but I did visit some of my favorites and some of the more interesting people who are interred in this really beautiful mausoleum. And I'm sure I'll be back since there are dozens of other famous people buried here in this cemetery. It always surprises me how long it takes me to find most of the graves that I'm looking for, but I guess that makes it all the more enjoyable when I finally do find them. 
and it gives me an excuse to come back again. If you enjoyed uh, this video, please uh, give it a thumbs up and uh, share it with a friend and um, leave a comment down below. And if you'd like to be notified when I upload videos like this in the future, please, please don't forget to subscribe down below. So as always, thanks for joining me and I will see you next time.